Hi guys, Paula here. Um, I just am coming on today because I want to show you some new makeup products that I've gotten here and there, different websites. Um, see what you like and what you don't like, what you'd like to make me see, maybe see me do a look, or just see how they perform, see if you want to get them. Um, really, I just love makeup and I love to share what I'm doing with it, want to know what you're doing with it, and just make videos about it. So let's look into it and see what we got. One of the first things I got, which was so fun, I had to get it. It's the Elf and Chipotle collab on um, an eyeshadow palette. I didn't get the whole collection. I just got the palette. This mirror, I just, this is why people do that, so you can't see. But I got, it has some really fun colors. It looks really dark. Really fun colors in there. The green, lettuce, salsa, guacamole, corn salsa. I just think you could make some, oh there's a good picture. I think you could make some really fun cool looks. Some people think this is ugly, but I think it just is really different and cute. So hopefully we'll give this a try, dig in and see what we can't do. Another palette I got, which I'm super stoked about, is Canyon. This is made by Alter Ego, which I've never bought any products from them before. Um, but I saw a review on this that it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. And I am so excited about that. I really, really, really wanted that palette, but it was way too expensive. I think it was 65 or more dollars. Some of her palettes are like a hundred and some dollars, and I just can't. There's too much good makeup at the drugstore and everywhere else. I can't spend that much. But I think it looks gorgeous and would love to create some really cool looks with that. Uh, a couple of smaller things I got. This is from Essence. It's called Pure Nude. Um, the reflection is a little crazy. But this is Be My Sunlight, number 40. It's a bake highlighter power with ultra smooth texture that puts fresh and luminous accents on the face. I follow Juicy Jazz on YouTube, and she really recommends this just as an all-time favorite. She loves it. It's a very natural glow, so I'd love to give that a try. Another highlighter I got was from um, Wet n Wild. Um, this is called Hello Halo. It has some really cute... Um, they have a couple different colors. This one is called... Um, oh shoot, I just lost the title. Uh, I Met Someone. It's not on the back, it's on the front. I Met Someone and it has a really pretty highlighter here and a matching blush, but the blush is very shimmery. Could also be used as an eyeshadow or a highlighter. So, got it really dark there for a second. So I think that could be a really cool thing to try and see what kind of looks you get. Bear with me with my camera skills. I'm just learning how to operate that. I tried the iPhone. It was a fail. This is another good. Someone else I follow on um, YouTube is Kelly Strack. Um, I love her too. She just has a great personality and it's just a fun, loving makeup and checking it out kind of vibe. This is by Wet n Wild. It's actually one of their bronzers. They don't, you won't see this in the stores hardly ever anymore. Like I looked all over. Ulta sells it online and one other place, which is where I got this and I can't remember what it is, but Ulta Reviews told me everybody that got theirs almost half said it was broken in the, in the mail. So I didn't order it from there. But she uses it to set the under eye and make that nice and bright. And it's her favorite. She's been using it forever. So I'd love to try it. This was something fun that I got. It's a mask. This is from the Creme Shop. And it's called an ABC Mask for al Alpha Hydroxy, um, Beta Hydroxy, and Vitamin C. The acids and the vitamin C. Um, and I just thought that would be a great mask for your skin. Because I put those things on my skin separately. But I thought that would be really fun. And it was just a couple dollars. It wasn't crazy. 
I've been really experimenting with wearing false eyelashes. It's not my go-to because I'm always nervous I'm going to be out and like one's hanging off. So I decided you probably should keep a little thing of glue in your purse and then you won't have to be worried. It would be a smart thing. But I like a natural lash. Nothing crazy. Um, these are by Kiss. They're called Looks So Natural. Love those. Oh, actually they're called Shy, but it's part of their Look So Natural line. I bought an additional little set. These were on sale at Walmart. I got a good deal. Um, they're just light. Make my, my eyelashes not that great, so it makes them look nicer and fluffier. Give a little length. And I really wanted this tool at the bottom for applying the lashes. I've been using my tweezers. And when I use my tweezers, it gets them all gummy from the glue. And then they're no good for plucking and I'm scraping it off. I was tired of that. Alright, something else fun. This is a new powder I wanted to try from Collab. This is called Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder in Ivory Sand. I think this will be a good color. Um, someone else I know that used it that has a pretty medium skin tone said they used porcelain, but I feel like I would look like a ghost. I'm not... I don't consider myself real medium. I have bronzer on, so I look a little darker now. But I'm not light light. So I'm usually like the darkest light or the lightest medium. But I hear this is an amazing powder. Because it's so ultra fine, it doesn't build up and look cakey. Let's see. Some more fun things. From e.l.f. I got this mascara. I'm a little behind the game on this one. People have been trying it for a minute. It's called the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. This is in black. It shows you what the wand looks like on there. You can see that. It's like one of the little spiky wands. Sometimes I really like those because they separate really well. And sometimes they poke that edge by your eyeball of your eyelid. And they're very uncomfortable. It just depends. But I hear super good things about this. So I can't wait to try it. Another wet and wild product this is an eyeliner um just the basic felt tip but this is an ultra black and it's called their breakup proof waterproof liquid eyeliner it's supposed to last 16 hours i got it because it was waterproof and um the eyeliners i use some of them say they're waterproof a lot of them don't because they're not but i don't go too close to my inner corner because it bleeds and i have this yucky mess in the corner of my eye so i'm hoping something that's supposed to be really good waterproof that i can you know start all the way in and it stays in place got me a whole handful of cool pencils i love stocking up on lip liners and eyeliners and then I realize I am just buying the same shades over and over again but I love them the NYX retractable ones are super cheap they have great colors and I like retractable better than pencil sharpening ones even though I hear there's something amazing about pencil sharpening ones where people say that's the only one they'll use but I feel like the tips break off and I can't keep them sharp so maybe I just need a good brand this is the NYX. This is in, sorry, it's so hard to read these. Um, Vanilla Sky. Let's see if you can see the color. I don't think it'll focus that close. Anyway, it's like a nude. Um, a little browner nude. This is a little more peachy nude. Um, this is another NYX liner. It is called Nude. I think I have one of those already, but I needed more. This is another NYX one I thought I would try. Um, they're waterproof, also, all of these. This is Sienna, and it's like a wine dark color, so that would be good for a darker lipstick, or if you wanted something that kind of have a fade to it with a lighter middle. I thought that would be cute. This is a different one. This is from Ardell. This is um, Wanna Get Lucky gel liner so this is just a pencil black eyeliner nothing crazy um in colors ink so it's very black i want um did i say waterproof 
I'm not sure if this is waterproof or not but the gel liners I think stay in place more than the coal liners so I want to try this for when I tight line um, my upper eyelid um, I don't love black in my waterline because I feel like it makes my eyes really small um, and I'm getting a little older I don't think that always looks good um, but anyway I want to try this because others I put up there as soon as I blink I've got a black waterline so I want to blink and keep this clean because if anything I like to use a nude or almost white on the bottom because it really opens your eye primers got a new primer here supercharged I felt like you can't see it's a lot of reflection supercharged um, Milani dewy primer it has ginseng and citrus extracts which I think are supposed to really be good for your under eye area and your whole face and skin to prep it and dewy is always nice more moisturizing I feel like there's so many things that make it dry afterwards like powder dewy underneath is good no matter what your skin type is if you're super oily maybe not I'm more combination like oily in the t-zone kind of normal in other areas um, but I can't wait to try this what else I have got Ta -da! real techniques little set I've been looking at this when I cruise through Walmart and Target um, I like real techniques brushes I actually have this one it's a setting brush and for setting under the eye it does an amazing job it's just, it's perfectly it's so soft because you want to treat that gentle it reaches all the little nooks and crannies I really like it but this one comes with a big um, powder a face brush a concealer brush and I think they call this one a blush brush um, and then you also get one of the real techniques sponges and you can't have too many of those I was just debating the other day when I was cleaning some old ones I'm like how often should you clean them and I feel like all the squeezing and scrunching from cleaning kind of breaks them down so after a little bit you just toss them uh, real takes techniques is much cheaper than the beauty blender but not the cheapest but I thought that was cool to get that it was $19.99 so it's not the cheapest but I've been looking at it for a while so I wanted it um, anyway so that's all the new fun stuff I have bought in the last couple weeks and let me know down below in the comments if there's something you would love to see me try or do a look with um, also just anything you would like to know about any of these products um, some price points when I do a video I'll try to get the price points right so everybody will know um, but yeah, that's just some stuff I'm looking forward to having fun with. So I just want to do, do a video to kind of show you guys what I got. A little haul video, if you will. I'm new, so I haven't yet figured out how to put the subscribe and notification click things. But you guys know what to do. Subscribe. Click subscribe. Follow my channel. Click the little bell to get all the notifications. And hopefully I'll be making lots of new videos and sharing lots of cool things. Bye, guys.